what is up familia welcome back to the channel if you are new around these parts hello thank you so so much for clicking i'm anna on this channel we budget plan and love us you guessed it some sticky paper in today's video i'm breaking down my numbers for paycheck two as well as stuff in my cash envelopes and my sinking funds so this is an exciting one y'all already know paycheck two is it so let me bring you guys in um, and let's get into it. Uh, real time, I am filming this on July 18th, somewhat early in the morning. So if I sound like I have a groggy voice, that's why. But don't worry, it'll get, go back to its normal self. The more I talk, and if you're wondering why I'm filming this so early, it's because my filming room does not have AC. And it's supposed to be a hot one today. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just do this um, now so that we don't die. Um, so yeah, here we are. <laughs> so I hope your July has been going well. We are already midway through, which is cray cray. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, the stickers that you see me using are from Erica Life Vlogs. You can use my code CAFE10 to save some money off your order and get my freebie if you order from her shop. And yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and finish kind of setting this up because I feel like I don't have any good stories for you guys, sadly. <laughs> um, yeah, so. I'm going to go ahead and lay this baby down and then I shall be back to go through the numbers and we can stuff some cash. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I have definitely been outside way too much and my budget is reflecting that because <laughs> I need to stop acting like outside is free or something, y'all. I really, really do. Like, for real, for real. Um... But yeah, like July has been busier than I initially ex expected. Like lots of like sponta spontaneous plans. And like, I can't even say the word because it's so not my style. <laughs> Annette is really not your girl. Like clearly your girl's a planner. So I feel like I've been struggling a bit with that. But also outside is finally open and... I want to see my peeps, you know, the peeps that I love. So, all right. So for bills and expenses, we are good. Go through the amounts now. So we've got our electric bill, which is up to $75, which should be expected because it hot. And we've been cranking the AC, to be honest with you. I've been using it pretty much every night because I just don't think we could sleep if we didn't. Uh, cell phone bill is $68. My HOA is $325. So sorry if you guys hear traffic. It's just the way my life is set up out here in the wild, wild west. I'm not in the wild, wild west. I just felt like that, that made the most sense. I'm actually in the northeast. Um, for those of you who don't know. Okay, so grand total for that is $468. For some reason, I feel like I'm missing something from this bills and expenses side. I have like a little mock budget I did, which I always do before I sit down and film just to make sure I include all my numbers, but I feel like I'm missing something. So we might circle back, but I did leave a blank space just in case I am missing anything. So for the cash envelope side, I have four cash envelopes. So I have food, gasoline, which ours has been kind of just flip-flopping. Like it goes down a few cents, it goes back up, it goes down a few cents, it goes back up. I can't keep up. <clears throat> My beauty. Cash envelope. Then we have spending. And finally, we have sinking funds. Okay, so for food, for paycheck two, we are budgeting $350. Gas, we are budgeting $70. 
Beauty is getting $120. Spending is getting $150. And you guys, I think I actually totaled up my sinking funds to, I think, $440, right? Hold on. <laughs> if you guys saw the little mock budget sheet that I'm looking at, it's a hot diggity mess. Um, let me just do this out really quick. Yeah, I was right, 440 Go me. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that's right, but let me double check. I have lots of scribbles and stuff on the side, y'all. Don't judge me. Okay, let's total that up. So grand total, we have $1,130 for my cash envelope. Well, my budgeted amount for my cash envelopes. Okay, so those are the numbers, you guys. Let me go ahead and add my paycheck breakdown to the bottom, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so if you're brand new to the channel, the paycheck breakdown just allows me to see if I have any remaining to carry over. Um, I do it a little bit differently just because I don't share my income on the channel. But if you were to bring over your income total, your bills and expenses total, and then your cash envelope total, and then subtract these two categories, so bills and expenses and cash envelopes from your income, you're going to see what you have left to essentially do whatever your financial goal is at that point. So whether it's saving or emergency fund or debt or whatever you're focusing on, in on, that lets you know kind of how much money you have left to play with. And that is zero-based budgeting, basically. So um, what I do, since I don't share my income on the channel, is just total these up. So you guys can see I need to make at least this amount um, to cover those two expenses. So... All right, um, let me know if you guys have questions on this stuff down below. I feel like I go over it every time, but I know there's constantly new viewers coming into the channel, um, some who are familiar with budgeting and some who are not. So that's why I kind of try to go over it as much as possible and kind of explain the process and the breakdown of everything. So I'm sorry if you're hearing this for the 55th millionth time and you're like, we know girl, like we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear away the planner and we can get into stuffing our cash envelopes and sinking funds. I need my cash tray, so let me go grab all that good stuff. We are back friends with the cash and we should have 1,180. So I'm actually gonna count through, which is not my typical like ML, y'all. I don't really, I don't really do this because it's a lot of money to count. So kudos to you guys who actually count through this whole thing. But here we go. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 1,180 bucks. So let's get this into a cash tray, y'all. Let go, let go. All right, can I just say, I don't have any ones, so there's always kind of an empty space here. Usually I have like a little filler, like um, placeholder, but, oh wait, I do have one. Just to complete the look, you know? Just so it's not like empty in there. We have a thousand dollar placeholder, which I don't think I'm gonna need in this video, but I hope I need soon. Um, okay. Can I just say, you guys, those of you who are cash stuffers will appreciate this. I went to the bank to get this cash for this stuffing, and the teller that I got was my kind of girl. Like, she was counting it all up, and she noticed there was a crusty, dusty 10, and she replaced it. And she gave me all of these bills facing the same direction. Like, what a queen. I know that you are not watching this, but you are the crown, the crowned jewel of the bank teller community that's all i'm saying you're the best <laughs> i was very proud uh almost brought me to tears not gonna lie not gonna lie okay anyways um let's get started with our cash envelope so the first thing we're going to be stuffing is food uh these cash envelopes are from breezy budget shop um who i'll have linked down below you can use my code cafe anna 15 to save 15 percent off your order 
um, at Brianna's shop and I love these like clearly they are stunning I don't know what else to say they is stunning and I'm kind of enjoying the little the zipper life the zipper pouch life I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it, gotta be honest okay so <laughs> first things first we're gonna stuff our food envelope you guys the loudest bird in the history of life just decided to start chirping so I'm so sorry he's so loud like for why though like why he couldn't give me like 10 more minutes to get through this no all right cool we're gonna stuff food 350 dollars so i'm gonna do 100 i'm gonna do 250s 20s two more 20s i think and a 10 like what is this all right, so we should have 350. We have 150, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, and 350 dollars for food. Food does include groceries and eat out, like takeout, um, because I realize that I do, I do eat out more than I should. But I think putting it in this food envelope has really helped me, like curb that a bit or at least like realistically know what I'm spending in food, you know, brings awareness. So food is all set. Next we have gas and gas is getting $70. So I'm gonna do, let's do a 20, um, yeah, let's do three 20s and a 10 for that. So we've got 20, 40, 60, $70 for gas. Because again, we're going outside and outside costs like $300 a day, but it's fine, we're fine. Next up we have Beauty and Beauty is getting $120 and I do like to do this in smaller-ish bills. So I'm gonna do 50, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another 20 and a 10. So that is 50, uh, 70, 90, 110, 120. So that should work. I'm actually, we're gonna put back that 10 and grab a couple fives because that helps with like tip and stuff. This is typically for my hair and nails, although I should really start stuffing a little bit more for makeup because <sighs> we're going back to the office soon. and. I, like the way it entails so much more expenses for me is just gross. Like I need to, Never mind. we're not even gonna have this conversation. <laughs> okay, next we have spending. Spending is getting $150. So I'm just gonna do 250, actually I'm just gonna do three. No, I don't wanna use up my 50s. So let's do 250s two 20s and a 10 for that one. So we have 50, 100, 120, 140, and 150 for spending. I'm sorry, this is like coming undone over here. Push my tray back a little bit. We're pretty much done with this binder though, so. Okay, spending is all set. So that's it for my cash envelope binder. It is ready to go, which is great because your girl actually needs to go grocery shopping, sadly. But I will probably be doing that after this video. So cash envelope binder is all set. Let's get into our sinking funds. Um, I should mention, you guys, I didn't actually... Um, what am I saying? Oh, God. Sorry, y'all. I'm dealing with this nerve pain, and it's so random. So if you hear me, like, pause or moan or something that's why but i'm avoiding it like the plague so so um i feel like i talked about how my sinking funds definitely got used up last paycheck um so you'll see that reflected in these amounts <laughs> definitely got used up so um first sinking fund is car maintenance for those of you who do not know this is my new car fund um, and I'm trying so hard to build this up as much as possible before I get a car, which I still don't te technically need, but I feel like I will need, I might need in the soonish time frame. So we're winging it, but we are going to try our darndest y'all. Cause I don't want to go into debt for a car. And if I do, I want it to be like as minimal as possible. Like I'm talking about something I can pay off in a few months time. So 
Okay, in car maintenance currently we have 100, 200, um, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, uh, 600, 620, 630. Car maintenance is getting $100. We try in y'all, we try in. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 720, 730. So we have $730 in car maintenance. I can't wait to have my first thousand in here, you guys. Like, oh, I'm so close, I feel like. Okay, car maintenance is good at 7.30, and I haven't, I haven't updated these uh, trackers in the back, you guys, so just ignore them. They are so off. Cafe with Anna, you guys will notice, is completely empty. I have certainly been pouring some money into Cafe with Anna, so <laughs> she's actually not getting anything this week because I overspent, so I'm actually going to be using what I would have put in the sinking fund to pay off my credit card because I definitely overspent with Cafe with Anna. So Cafe with Anna, not getting anything this go round, but it will next time. Subscriptions is next, and subscriptions currently has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. And subscriptions is getting $20. So let's just do, let's do two tens. So we should be at an even 200. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, $200 in subscriptions, which is pretty good. I'm gonna keep it going with subscriptions. I don't think I have anything due until next year at this point. I gotta check my Canva subscription and see when that expires. Um, I just need to make, I need to make like a running list of my subscriptions because it never fails. I always forget about some of them because a lot of them are annual. So anyway, subscription is at $200. Then we have travel and travel currently has, oops, 50, 70, 90, $100 and travel is getting $50. So I think I'm just going to do, let's see, let's do 20, 30, 40, and 50, because I have quite a bit of tens to get through. So we're going to start using them. Ended up getting more tens than I, I think wanted to, but that's okay. That's okay. So in travel, we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. So we now have $150 in travel i cannot tell you guys how badly i want to go to disneyland because i want to do the oogie boogie bash y'all but my funds are not <laughs> agreeing with me on that because in between what i've spent for cafe with anna and then i've also gotten some furniture for the house like my funds are like nope you staying home you're gonna enjoy that new couch you got so i'm glad you bought it Christmas has $200 and Christmas is getting $50. So mm, let's do a 50. Sure. Why not? So we have 100, 200, $250 for Christmas, um, which is not terrible, but we still got some work to do before. Technically I like to have this like together before Black Friday, because that's where most of the spending happens. But I think we're doing better overall than we did last year, and that's all I can ask for at this point. Um, next up is big purchases. Big purchases is empty because, again, I got a couch. This is another one that is actually I overspent in, so it's not getting stuffed. I'll be paying that back to my credit card. So big purchases is staying empty for now. Next up is gifts, and gifts currently has 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars and gifts is getting another 20 dollars. I'm gonna do two tens again because I want to get those tens down a bit. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars in gifts. Is that right? Yes. 
So $90 in gifts, gifts is all set. Next up is clothes and clothes currently has $30, 20 and 30, and it is getting $50. I'm just gonna take a 50 for this one. So we have 50, 70, $80 in clothes and going back to the office means, it always means I need to get like a few pieces of clothing. I'm starting to wonder if that's just in my head. <laughs> Disney is next. Disney currently has 120, 40, and 150 dollars, and it is getting 50. So I'm gonna do two 20s and a 10 for this one. Um, so I think we'll be at an even 200, which is pretty nice. So Disney now has 120, 40, 60. Uh, 80, 90, 200. So now we have $200 in Disney, which means if I wanted to book a Disney vacay, I could, because I think it's $200 down that you have to put it on, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, y'all, don't worry. Okay, Disney's at 200. Next up is Fun. Fun, whoops, I grabbed two there. Fun has $20, a whole 20 bucks in Fun. Oops, and fun is getting another 20 bucks. I'm gonna do two tens for that. So we have 20, 30, and $40 in fun, AKA my Beyonce concert sinking fund, which has a lot of work to do to get where it needs to be for the queen. And okay, savings, we are not adding to yet. Moving. Uh, well, I could go ahead and let you know how much is in savings. So $12.80 in the bank, and I have $20, $40, and $60 in savings from the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. This is pretty much what savings is, my Budget Mom Savings Challenge. I think I'm going to stuff July in uh, my August paycheck one, just so I get through the month and can accurately stuff. So savings is good. Moving is next. You already know the drill, your girl wants to move. We have $50 in moving, and moving is getting another 50. So let's see, do two 20s and a 10, yeah. Let's do, oh, no, let's not do that. Let's do another 50 here. Is it 50? Yeah. So we have 50 and $100 in moving. I'm kind of glad I'm, see, I don't know when this is gonna happen, y'all, to be completely 100 with you, but I'm glad I'm starting to save for it now because Moving, as we all know, is so expensive. So there's moving. And then we have the Max It Out Savings Challenge, which I am going to stuff. Um, and this savings challenge is actually from Money with Gab. Shout out to the bestie. So you can find this, I believe, still on her Etsy shop. But it is the purpose of this is to max out your Roth IRA. So um, I think we are going to be at a place where we can fill in that first money bag, you guys. So I'm excited. Right now we have 50, 60, 65, $70, and I'm adding $30. So let's go ahead and put that in. So we have 50, 70, uh, 80, 90, 95, $100. My first 100 in the Max It Out Savings Challenge. My only problem is I don't think I have a marker on hand to fill this out. So I'm gonna store it, but I'm gonna fill it out when I do have a marker on hand. <laughs> um, so we got our first money bag and max it out, and that is super exciting. Let's get that in. Okay, that is good. I did not take out my condo for you guys. I just decided to, decided to leave it in my bank account. Um, so that is why I'm not stuffing that one, but I still have money left over. So let me see like where I went wrong, y'all. Yeah, hold, pause for the cause. We have 20, 30, 40, we have $50 left. I think, travel, I think it might've been big purchases. I think big purchases is what I took this out for because I had it crossed out and I probably included it in my stuff. So this is gonna go back into my account because I'm not stuffing big purchases. So took out a little extra, but I'd rather take out a little extra than take out a little less than what I need. So that's fine. All right.
thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this leftover money back in the bank, but my cash envelopes and sinking funds are good to go. And we are ready for the next few weeks here in July. So, um, well, a couple weeks, really. The birds are back, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, um, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Thank you so, so much for clicking. The birds are saying thank you for watching as well. And don't forget to subscribe for more planning and budgeting content from your girl. And I will see y'all real, real soon. Bye.